Hi, I'm Mike with Hugotastic. I'm here at SCNA again. I'm sitting down with Matt Polito. Matt was kind of a fixture in the Ruby community here in Chicago uh, for several years uh, through TUA, and he worked with uh, the, the Chicago Ruby and the Windy City Rails Conference. But he, uh, he loved the cold northern climes to go down to Jacksonville, Florida and join hash rocket. Um, so you're, you, you went down and you had a, a, a pretty good body of experience dealing with user groups here in Chicago and conferences. In Jacksonville, was it different going on in Jacksonville, or what did you experience? It was the 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 area or the pool of developers is different, mm -hmm. uh, mainly because it's not a, as dense of an area as the Chicago and the surrounding areas. Um, so the Ruby group that was in place already had uh, uh, like a dwindling headcount. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was tough to get people to come in. Dwindling, I'm sorry, dwindling from what? from uh, just every, you know every meeting seemed to get a little smaller. But I mean, were you starting in the 50 or? Oh no, this is you know maybe eight or 12. I think. Oh really? Yeah. Uh, when we would have it in the the city proper in Jacksonville, you would see a spike. Okay. Uh, so you could tell that more dense area, more likely people will come, uh, which was the exact same case. In Chicago as well, we had the Elmer's meetings, which had a decent turnout. But when we merged with the other group and took over to Chicago, uh, the exponentially grew. Right. So, yeah, blew up. Yeah. So, so you're down in Jacksonville. You're you're dealing with a group that's already having trouble pulling in people. What it, what was? <clears throat> um, so so it, I actually wasn't uh, a part of that group. Okay. Um, just been around the people who run it, and then my experience here. Uh, they decided to shut down. It wasn't worth mm -hmm. putting the, the effort and time into it um, because people weren't attending. Right. So uh, that ended uh, several months ago, and then just recently, one of our uh, developers at Hash Project decided to uh, take it upon himself to reinvigorate the community with these types of meetings, and uh, that just started. Uh, last night, okay. actually. That seems to be a pretty good turnout. So I'm excited that uh, we may have someone who's interested in bringing that community back because I am interested in participating in it as well. So was there anything that, I mean, uh, you mentioned the density mm -hmm. and then having a city meeting versus a suburban meeting. I'm assuming that the, the one meeting was a suburban. Uh, similar, it's, it's yeah. not quite a suburb, but it is, uh, Jacksonville is an interesting Area I learned it's the largest continental land mass. So uh, even though you think it's just Jacksonville, it's uh, Jacksonville. It's huge. Yeah, it's and uh, there's a lot of little pieces. Uh, we are at the beach, which is uh, a considerable distance from the actual city. Mm -hmm. You know, it could take 40 or so minutes. Oh, okay. So, it, it, so it's wrong. very it's very wrong. similar to having a Chicago meeting and an Elmer's meeting, mm -hmm. um, which. Which we found here that the people that went to those meetings would not go together. So that's so. Uh, so you're looking at trying to figure out how to get uh, people interested in the meetings again. What were, were there any lessons you, you took from the, the the demise of the previous group and are are going to try to do differently in the new group? Um, we, we did things very similar to, or, or they were done very similar to how. Uh, we did them in Chicago, um, being you know always have a specific time every month, mm -hmm. um, so that it becomes ingrained. Oh, oh, today is Ruby night. Right. right. Um, always having the same location, which is something we did tweak. Right. Because maybe the location is the, the so consistency of schedule, consistency yeah. of location. I know that I need to be yeah. near here on the states. Exactly. Uh, that, I think that was really the, the big successful thing we learned with Chicago Ruby mm -hmm. was consistency because that consistency wasn't the thing that was happening with a lot of the other groups mm -hmm. and a lot of the smaller groups died. Um, also catering to beginners okay. tends to get more people in. Um, it's a broader audience. Yeah, we've had an interesting conversation about that in Jacksonville that uh, the People who start a user group want to do it to be around like-minded people, right. but uh, and, and you say you're starting, mm -hmm. and you have beginner to intermediate talks, and then you kind of get to this this place where 
you don't, you no longer want to have those talks. Mm -hmm. You want to advance them. Well, but the things that are still happening yeah. are not advanced, so then you start to stop going. Um, and then that, I think that that's the point where headcount starts to join when, when people start leveling up or no longer have an interest in the types of talks. Um, so it definitely is a balance because you need to have the beginner level talks to get new fresh mm -hmm. blood. Um, but also find a way to keep the people that are there interested so you right. have that sustained. I've time. heard some of, of encouraging the more senior uh, attendees to, to be more active in the group. That they come in, mm -hmm. that they learn, and then they can start to teach. Yeah, uh, that would be ideal. Yeah. Uh, I think that that doesn't happen often. Uh, it doesn't happen a lot here as well either. But, well, unless it's changed some that. Yeah. Um, where you get to a certain level or you start a bigger job and uh, you know who I'm looking at. Um, you know, you stop going. So, yeah. Okay. Well, thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you. Time.